Hey guys, welcome back. It's finally time to set up our cage because in just a few weeks, actually it's about a week and a half now, our baby Greenwing McCaw is finally coming home. Still doesn't have a name, we still don't know what sex it is, but that's irrelevant. Hopefully we will by the time he, she gets here, but we need to set up the cage. So hopefully you've checked out the last video, which is all about the accessories so far we've bought, which does include the cage as well, but this time around, we're just gonna set it up and get it ready. Okay, so all we've done now is we've quickly lined the trays with newspaper. So a bit of a tip there, don't put your wood chip in straight into your trays. Put newspaper down, then it'll absorb any liquid that goes through the chip-ins onto the metal of the cages. Because eventually, it will start to tarnish the metal and it could eventually cause some rust spots as well. So a bit of newspaper, then when you change your entire chip-in, change out your newspaper. But what you'll see we'll do is we'll put these chip-ins down now then when we start cleaning the bird, we'll just scrape some of the chippings off, scrape the mark off and just top up the chippings. We'll do that several times and then we'll do a full cycle on the chippings. So time to tip the chippings on, so we'll speed this up as well. So that's the chippings into the trays with the newspaper lining. As you can see from the close up, we've got about half an inch, three quarters of an inch deep of chip-ins there, which should be plenty for now, but again, we're still learning as well, so we may need to adjust as we go. But let's get these trays back in the cage, and that's definitely one good step done. Okay, so the trays are lined, the chip-ins are in top, and the trays are now back into the cage. So the next thing is the thumb bit. So Louise, let's grab, grab the first toy. Okay, so make sure you get rid of any tags, or any labels before they go in. So it would have nylon bits of plastic, but it's not really good for the birds. So our cage has got two catches on it. One which released here, then one a small one from the top. That is because all parrots are particularly good at getting out of cages. They work out how to undo nuts, bolts, and catches from the inside, believe it or not. Our African grey parrot is particularly good at doing that. We'll even undo padlocks as well. So be careful about that. So first of all, should we check out the perch position? Yeah. Okay. So I think we need to change the perches round because, well, this one's close to food bowls. Okay. So how about we leave this one here okay. because it is close to the food bowl. Mm -hmm. To leave it a bit higher, probably about right height because the bird's quite big. Yes. And then this one actually, let's leave that there as well. We're not going to be using these bowls at the front. We're going to be using the two side bowls at the, at the side here. The decision that I've just made to save okay. everything around. Okay. And then what we do is let's make sure the toy is almost out of the way. So should we hang it? About here, coming down. So really the idea of hanging it over here, so the idea of hanging it over this side is to keep it away from the food and the other perch. We want to make sure um, the macaw is really happy with being able to sit, stay on the perch and get to the food at all times and the water as well. So if it wants to come and play, it'll come across. Now what we might do is we might find we have to lower this one slightly. So because it's quite a big step from the lower perch to the upper perch without having to climb up the edges of the cage. But I think right now, should we do it now? Or yeah, do you think we should leave it? Let's do that. And then we'll move then we can afford to move the toy across to the next section. That's better. Just tidying up so we can come undone. So what we've done there is we've made it so that the two main poles are crossed over. So it's super easy, because don't forget, this is a baby macaw. Though it's gonna be quite a size, it's still an actual baby, it's still learning how to stand properly, hasn't learned how to fly at all at the moment. We'll be covering that later. So make it as possible to step up onto the next perch to go across, and also reach across the toy if it wants to. What you don't wanna do is put the toys directly over where you're, fit, where you're feeding and drinking from. It's just going to be a distraction, it's going to be in the way. Make it super easy to get to that food. So, yeah, so this, just explain this one. Let's cut off the tag to start off with. So you can take that. So yeah, so what we said earlier on this, in our last video, not really classing this as a toy, this is just really a way of guessing around. So it's not something different to stand on, rather than standing on the wood all the time. It has three mounting points on it. It's one in the center, and then one at each each end as well. So we're gonna use this as a type of perch. Right, so let's work out what we're gonna do. So what we've got, sorry, just about to see me inside here. So what we've done is we've actually made this, this one can slide about for a bit of fun. 
but the other ones can't slide at all. They're on a much smaller piece of metal. So bear that in mind when you're putting your toys in the in there inside your cage. So how much can they move about inside the cage? If they do move, are they in the way? So there we go, that is our cage set up. So let's do a close up for you. So guys, that is our cage set up. And like I said in the other videos, like we've both said in other videos and also this video, now we're not yet experts on macaws. We've had plenty of other birds ourselves, a couple of different parrots. You've probably seen jump, um, Grumpy Jed, the hawk as well, which is a Harris hawk. He's not really grumpy, but it's just like what we want to call him. Uh, we've had a couple of Harris hawks and we've also got a Kara Kara as well. So we are used to birds, we are used to handling birds from parrots to birds of prey. But also this first time I had of course, we're kind of a bit of a learning curve with us. You're coming on this journey. You may well find after week one, this is completely different and we've got it wrong. If we have, we will let you know. Please, if you liked the video, found it useful, comment below regardless and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.